Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope. Well, Buen Camino there, pilgrims. I'm Jeremiah Gibbs, and I'm your Camino guide today. I have brought uh, the Saria to Santiago. Uh, portion of my pilgrimage with students in May 2022. We walked from Astorga to Santiago, but this video is just the Saria to Santiago portion. So many of you uh, have dreams of walking that section as your introduction to Camino, and so this is a great way to put that together. I hope that you enjoy uh, this little portion of the pilgrimage that I walked with my students in May 2022. What's up, folks? We're back with Camino Guys. Tell me, what's your most exciting aspect of climbing this hill? This one? Yeah. It's not the steepest one I've been on. Hmm. It might not be the steepest one. <laughs> We're leaving Saria. <laughs> this hill right now? Yeah. Yeah, it's not that steep. It gets steeper. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It gets steeper. That's what you're supposed to say. The most exciting part about this hill is that we get to walk it with our leader Jeremiah. Oh yeah. Yay. Um. Wait. Can't, line. Yeah. Boy, Camino pilgrims. We have started our day out of Saria and. You may have heard this said many times, but it is a bit like a parade when you leave Saria all the way to Santiago. We've already experienced that. There are so many stinking people out here. Not a bad thing for me at least, because I like people, but for all of our solitary pilgrims, uh, it's a lot of people. So anyway, that makes a great pilgrim day, but there is a thing that might make a rough pilgrim day. Rain. And that is, it's probably gonna rain pretty much all day. Um, it's supposed to be raining right now, though. It's and actually coming down really hard, you just can't see it. Oh, no, she's right. It's too fast. Yeah, it's really fast. We're drowning. Mal is drowning, but that's because she's short. <laughs> <laughs> fan favorite. It's too early to be coming <laughs> at me like Hashtag that. Hashtag fan favorite. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Spanish 101. Oh, let's do a little Spanish recap. What are some words that are necessary to know necessary. for when you come to Spain? Ah, that's necessary a good to know one. when you come to Spain? Um, yeah. um, Donde esta la baño? But they Ooh, also call baño. them aseos. Aseos? Aseos? Uh, aseos. Aseos? Sí. Yeah. That means where is the bath bathroom or where are the services? What I would like, yo quiero. Yo quiero. Or and like, order. can I have, is puedes, mm, what do I want? Puedes, Only, puedes tener. Un tortilla. Puedes, puedes tener. No, puedo. Can I, can I to have? Puedo tener. Can I have? Oh, can I have? Puedo tener. Um, vaso de zumo de naranja. The end. Back to you, Joe, in the studio. Another important thing to say is just like greetings for Gracias. people. Hola. 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 Oh, they also say bello. They'll go bello, bello. What is that? Vale. It means okay. No, that's ballet. Ballet. V A L L E. Ballet. Oh, it's just one L. Or it's just one L. Ballet. It's like when you're talking at the end of a sentence and you like end with like a okay. Or like, like when they're going to leave at this time, okay? When you're ordering, they're gonna be like, oh, no, bad, I bad, you know. Also, if you want to sound Spanish, add th's instead of to your gracias. s's. So gracias instead of gracias. But when you're like, gracias. <laughs> gracias. Maybe not then. Also, buenos dias is good morning. Buenas tardes is good, good afternoon. afternoon. And buenas, buenas noches nachos. is good night. Good night.
gonna fall in the water for sure. So Hannah, how's it feel to reach the 100k marker? I'm ready to be done. <laughs> you are? Yeah. <laughs> we got a ways to go. I know, but I feel better now that we've hit 100. Yeah. Yep. Picture. So we've walked 165 kilometers. That's correct. And we have 100 left to go. That's correct. So we're going to be walking 265 kilometers and 165 miles. That's correct. Hey, what is up, Camino Guide followers? <laughs> People are staring at me. <laughs> but we are at the 100 kilometer marker. There are 100 kilometers. Nope, 100,000. I cannot speak ever. 100? Oh, maybe I'm just dumb. 100 kilometers. Which is 100,000 meters. 100,000 meters. There we go. Oh, sure. Why not? And we don't have that much long left to Santiago. This is Larissa. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Want more? Ready? Boom. We're taking lots of photos. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, two. Okay, Our last one. All right. What do you think, think they do? Well, Obviously, I, you already think they're chicken coop. I thought it was chicken coop, and then I started looking in. There's no chickens. Yeah, there's no chickens in there. And so I'm thinking it's a tomb above the ground. Ah, because, also has been guessed already this yeah, morning. Dang. Yeah, I bet you could see through it. So will yeah. we allow air through something like that? I don't know. <laughs> so Steven says something with food. Chicken. McCaitlin's a chicken coop. You got an answer, Joseph? An outhouse. An outhouse, okay. Outhouse. Mine is either for dead people or for pilgrims who need to stay. Dead people or a bed for pilgrims. You guys know what this is? Oreo. Ah, it's an Oreo. Oh, She's okay. right. She already knows. Do <laughs> you have a guess, Oreo? Lewis? I forgot. An Oreo. An Oreo. An Oreo. An Oreo. An Oreo. <laughs> so those are a traditional Galician Oreos. Oreos? Oreos? They're very proud of them in this region, so they restore them and keep them for generations. Oh, he they is keep, going. He's like, no one needs to listen. They, um, <laughs> they keep grain, corn. Oh, okay, mostly. cool. Hello, Mugao. Did you find a salad? Yeah. Sure. So, like, nursing school uh -huh. is hard, maybe. Oh, yeah. But if you get through, Will you still like nursing? Yes. Then that's that's the answer to that oh. question, you see? So like knowing if you can reach your goal and if like... If, if the outcome if is gonna of be worth the it. hard thing is worth pushing through the hard thing. Hmm. So like for the Camino, like knowing that like we're gonna get to Santiago. Is that worth but, it? And, and I would say, for example, for Santiago, it yes. is worth it unless the option is to be injured. I don't think it's worth hurting yourself to get there. I think so. I'm gonna walk there with broken legs. Okay. It's open. This is a hidden gem, folks. Oh yeah. Larissa says she wanted to, and I'm telling you it's really good. I told you it was steeper. <laughs> it's so fun. It is shorter, but it's steeper. I like shorter. I, I think this is a great adventure. I want to get my hand. This is fun. I feel like I'm Indiana Jones. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's all right. Uh -oh, we have, a I imagine we have a boulder rolling down behind us. Go, go, go! <laughs> Um, I want to do that. You want to do that? 
toes where should they go? That was my least favorite part. Me too. Can I tell you, I've never noticed that here before. I'm usually so eager to get into the console. <laughs> so we're sitting here in Porto, um, Porto Marine, and we thought that today was going to be a lot of rain. We thought it was gonna rain the whole way here. Um, we ended up having, I think, no rain, maybe a few sprinkles, but basically no rain all the way to Porto Marine. Super excited about that. Um, about I, over half of the pilgrims are already uh, here. Um, I've still got a few people who are coming in, but um, we thought today would be 13 and a half miles all rain. Instead, we got uh, from Saria to here basically with no rain. Super excited. Um, so we're staying here at Pons Minia. Um, and uh, it's a nice alberga, certainly a great bar um, and a nice place to stay. Um, but anyway, so wonderful walk today. Could have been a hard one, ended up being really beautiful. Spent most of the last half of the day, I don't have any video even, spent most of the last half of the day talking theology with a few of the students as well as some other American pilgrims that we met along the way um, and just had a great day. So anyway, we are looking forward to some good food here because there's definitely some good food in this town um, and uh, looking forward to that. Hi, Katie. Hey. <laughs> Can you see the numbers on the stones? That's how they put the church back together. YouTube. Today we're back. Kyler has been voted off the island. Anna has committed unspeakable war crimes. What did you do? I don't know. Unspeakable. Unspeakable. Well, boy, Camino Pilgrims. I'm just setting out from Porto Marine. Um. We had a great night last night, but Porto Marine was packed with pilgrims. So many people that started in Saria. Um, honestly, more people here staying in Porto than I have ever seen in the past. I don't know if that's just when we started. We started on a Sunday. I should say we left Saria on a Sunday. So maybe there's um, some rhythm to when those Saria pilgrims start. Um, but my gosh, there were so many people here for dinner last night. Um, but we had a great dinner and uh, and enjoyed each other. It was just very slow getting service and stuff. Um, today, we are walking to Palace de Rey. Um, I really like the uh, Alberga Otiero, I believe it said, uh, in Palace. Um, the owner there is a uh, very kind man, knows excellent English, uh, and has been on the Camino, living on the Camino, and knows so much about the Camino. Uh, so, looking forward to uh, our night in Palace, but it is a 15, a little more than 15 mile walk. Um, and for these students, that's the most that they'll do on this pilgrimage, even though we have some harder days with more elevation and so on. Um, this is our longest day. Um, so just cumulative time on the trail will be higher today, especially because we do have some folks that are moving pretty slow at this point with uh, injuries and so on. So hopefully it will be a good day. You'll see I'm setting out by myself because um, when we leave Porto, uh, there's quite a climb coming out of this, uh, this down river lake city. Um, so I'm going down more right now um, out of the city and then when we go up on the other side you have to climb for quite a while um, probably at least uh, three or four miles of climbing um, going fairly straight up this first part's really straight up um, so I'm going by myself because uh, I'm certain that I'll meet some pilgrims on the trail some of my pilgrims uh, but uh, I go so slow going up the hill 
doesn't do any good for for other folks to walk with me so I'm setting out by myself I'm sure that I'll meet some of my students pretty early here and uh, we'll look forward to, to walking with them Good. How are we doing? Good. Boo. So Amber, what would you say is the number one reason someone should not come on Camino? Um, like stay away. I think that if you aren't able to push yourself, then you shouldn't come because there's a lot of pushing yeah. yourself to um, your body's limit and your mental limit. Um, so if you're not ready for that or not prepared for that, which you're gonna have to be if you're here, um, then I want it. Yeah. It's funny because I often say to people who are talking about bringing their kids or their partner with them because they're excited about it. I think their kids should be or their partner should be. I'm like, that's fine as long as they are ready and wanna do it. Because you kind of got to want it. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just miserable and hurtful. But we're having a blast. We are having a blast. Today's a good day. It is a good day. So we've been going from Puerto Marine, I think. I don't know exactly how far we are, but roughly halfway of the day. Got a mileage? 6.91. Okay, so we're halfway of the day. No. Almost. 15 is halfway. So our 15 is all the way. So almost halfway and we just started getting a misty rain about 10 or 15 minutes ago so far neither of us have put on rain gear in the hopes that the rain will go away but i'm becoming less convinced that's going to happen so we'll see but regardless we're having a good day just uh got half of it left half of it left <laughs> Day 10 update, the day of the 15 mile hike. It is a little bit after 10 o'clock, like 10.30 right now. Um, it started raining, which is something that we haven't really seen um, on the Camino thus far. But um, it doesn't seem to have scared off too many people. It's still pretty busy uh, here after Saria, but we're coming up on about eight to nine miles so far today. Um, the plan is to stop at mile 10 at a bar. Uh, we stopped at mile five for breakfast. So we'll probably stop at mile 10 for lunch and then power through the last five miles um, and get to the albergue. So, got some pretty trees back through here. Um, and yeah, just putting one foot in front of the other and just sort of Hoping for the best. Point me now. Well, the rain's here now. And uh, I don't think we're gonna get out of it for a while. 
Yeah, everybody's got their rain gear on, except for me, of course, but, uh, and we are moving along. We've walked about eight miles for the day on our 15, and uh, now we're just getting wet. In the Marine Corps, we used to have a phrase, if it ain't raining, we ain't training. I don't really feel like Camino requires rain, but here we are. What do you guys think? Excited about the rain? I love this. my shower for the night. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling good. No need to shower. Actually, it's pretty refreshing. Yeah. It's a nice change of pace from the heat. Peaceful, tranquil. I'm just getting a little chilly. I'm in a groove. I have some carrots yeah. because it's not big and cold. That's not good stuff, sir. Up, I think Amber gets hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> that'll not be the bait. that'll be the title. Of the, not, not clickbait. Like Amber <laughs> gets hit by a car. <laughs> <laughs> What do you think, guys? Have you been able to do your best impersonation of a drowned rat? <laughs> I think I'm still doing it. <laughs> yeah. I guess I didn't do any filming back at the bar while I was freezing <laughs> and complaining about whether I could take another step. <laughs> so it's only, uh, well, earlier it was 52 degrees Fahrenheit here. And I thought I could go with no rain gear. I got pretty cold. And uh, all of us got pretty wet. Mm -hmm. Emma was wearing her rain gear and she was freezing. Yes. yes. So, anyway, we are only about two miles out from Palace de Rey now. So we mostly have made it. And the rain has mostly stopped, but uh, not completely. So anyway, we're kind of counting it as a completed day, even though we're not there yet. <laughs> Our hearts have completed the day. Our feet have not. So almost there. What's that, Emma? Hello. Look at this, Emma. How's your walk going, Emma? Not too bad. Yeah? Just taking it nice and slow. Yeah help a lot so is that because you're hurting or because you're trying to keep yourself from hurting uh, keep myself from hurting good i got a piece of tape that's rubbing a little funny yeah but other than that not been too bad good so tell me what was the best moment of your camino hike today i love the rain you did <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> I think uh, probably breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's kind of a hard day. That cafe called it, Leche. It's actually not as bad as I thought. It's uh. You're almost there now. Less yeah. than a mile, I think. We're so or close. Or maybe right at a mile. I think yesterday was harder, which was only 14 miles. Yeah, it was a little less. Yeah. But harder climbing, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're almost there now. Yeah. Rain or not. We're so close. Emma, <laughs> tell me, how bad do you have to pee? How about you, Leah? How about you? Have stop, to pee? So I didn't see my <laughs> Hello. Today was our longest mileage day. It was, I think I clocked in at like 15 miles. Dr. Williams and Hannah clocked in at like 16 miles. But yeah, it was a fun day. Um, we are at our hostel now. I like how this hostel is spelled. It's O U T E 
I R A. It's a very fun spelling. Hey, blog. This is Alicia. Hi. This is also a new shirt. It's Hashtag not new. We survived. We did survive. This is a not a new shirt, but it's a shirt that I haven't worn yet on this trip. Also, I was gonna wait to do this so I couldn't jinx it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now since I have the camera. I highly recommend REI's sock liners with the little toe sock things because I have yet to get a blister on any of my toes. I do have a blister on my heel that I got yesterday and it was because I was walking at Jeremiah's pace, which is so fast. It is so fast. And you were That's walking you slow, walk for a single day slow this yesterday. No, we're just gonna have to have meals together. You're too slow. So sad. He's way too fast. And so I got a blister from that, but I have yet to get a toe blister. And so the toe socks, our jokes on you because I haven't gotten a blister. Are five out of five stars from me. Awesome. Are those new shoes? Oh yeah. Did you vlog about them? I did not vlog about my new fake Crocs from Portugal. Whoa. Hi guys, it's Joe. This is called the Light Leak, and this is called the Life. Amen. I just had octopus for the first time. So did a bunch of other people. Tell me how your octopus was. Um, it was good. The flavor was great. The texture was a five out of ten. Hannah. Yep. How was your octopus? It was fantastic, but a little pricey. <laughs> how was your how was your non octopus? My peppers were good. Excellent. I also had pimientos de padrón. That's the main here the pimientos de padrón. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I don't I've trained a while. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button in the face. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a video. Every minute. Buen Camino. <laughs>
actually quite a bit into our walk this morning now and I forgot to make a video this morning while we we're leaving mostly because we were looking for breakfast and we did find breakfast in uh, Palos de Rey it took us a few stops uh, which I will say I think is one of the changes that um, have happened during COVID I found that more of the bars are closed um, and not opening till later um, one of the owners last night told me that um, it's because like in America where we've had a, a labor shortage in the service industry he thinks a lot of folks are laying out of work collecting uh, federal assistance so anyway we have not found as many places that are open to eat in the morning but we did find something this morning and uh, you have any idea how far we are in yeah. Mal has got a little better record than 5. I do. 5.18 miles. 5.18 miles. We're only going nine miles to Malide today. Kind of a rest day for us, uh, in part because for a big group, our choice was Malide or Arzua. Yeah. So it's better to go nine miles to Malide and nine miles to Arzua tomorrow than to go 18 miles in a group that did not like going 15 yesterday. Yeah. Thanks for that. Yeah. They weren't too happy about 15 yesterday. It was but terrible. Everybody busted it out. Yeah. And you didn't have to thread any blisters. I didn't. So I think last night was the first night I didn't thread any blisters the whole time. So I guess that whole uh, 15 miles is not so bad. Maybe we should do 15 every day. Nope. Nope. Okay. So... Nope. We're doing nine today, Vito. and we're over halfway of that. Yeah. Before I remember to do this, we got this group of folks who are walking together. We have gathered that it's a group walking in support of those who have suffered with cancer. Oh, there's Rachel. Ah. Uh. Hungry? Hungry, hungry, hungry. I can always eat. So that's how you make food decisions on Camino. It's not really whether you're hungry or not, but whether your friends have already stopped. I have good news and the good news is I found a shop on the side of the road where I could buy a poncho for seven euros because as soon as I bought the poncho it stopped raining so we don't have any more rain but it's still cold it is still well, cold I mean, it's still drizzly too. drizzly it's just not like the downpour that it was yeah so if you ever want to make it stop raining you should put your rain gear on Galician lawnmowers.
we have just set out this morning from Malide. We're only going to Arzua, so we have two short days in a row of nine miles. Um, a bit of a rest before we finish up. And uh, yeah, we uh, don't have long and the weather's pretty good. Better than yesterday for sure. Um, and already some of our pilgrims are talking about how sad they are. But this is almost over, right Liv? Oh boy. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Okay. So Olivia's not sad that it's almost over. Jeremiah and I are gonna do it all over again, but he's gonna carry me. Ah. Uh, extra challenge. Yeah. So I'm going to be Olivia's horse, I think. Yeah. And carry her next time. So anyway, we've started the way and uh we've got uh, several crews spread out. There is some talk tonight about a possible night hike. Um, I did this back in July last year with a group of pilgrims and had a great time. And some of these folks are saying they would like to do the same tonight. So we'll see if that develops or not. But uh, we'll show you some scenes from today. So Sunny, yes. you have walked part of the AT mm -hmm. several times, yes. which is probably the trail that Americans are most familiar with, it's most accessible of the through hikes. Uh, how would you compare Camino to the AT? Um, the terrain is definitely very different. Um, I'm used to walking on really like actual trails in the woods and dirt and it's a little bit softer and here I think the biggest thing has been a lot of walking on gravel and asphalt in the roads so it's been a little harder on my joints that I had anticipated um, the mileage is definitely different as well I'm not used to going 13 miles typically maybe seven or eight on the AT in a day um, but they're quicker miles but I think probably I said probably the biggest thing is just the impact oh. of the the ground on the joints. You guys are gorgeous. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. Passing, passing, hey. Don't stop. Please. Don't stop. Don't stop. Okay. So Sunny, if you had to, uh, if you have to pick which trail you like better, <laughs> um, besides the thousand dollars we have to spend to get here, <laughs> um, I don't know. It's a top. They're so different. Yeah, they are just different. so different. You can't even really compare them. I've never done a lot of like the city walking and the street walking before, um, so that is completely different from at least the sections that I've hiked on the AT. Yeah. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with the AT. Um, maybe more so of a love-less-hate relationship with the Camino at this point. But <laughs> I'm not finished yet. So yeah, fair enough. We'll see. Fair enough. <laughs> well, I can definitely say that I mostly hate the AT. <laughs> um, I really only love walking with people. Uh, and so I like taking groups on the AT because then I have people. But if I had to go alone, I would not ever. Um, and Camino, I would go alone because I know I'd meet people here. So the hiking for me is more Secondary. about the people because, yeah, I don't actually like walking. <laughs> Little known secret about the Camino guide I don't like walking.
of our walking group one day. Oh, that's true. Of that's the pilgrimage. Um, of the Arse Cheeks. Of the Arse Cheeks plus others. Jim uh, and Hannah were there. Yeah, okay. Um, and I was able to spit my cherry seat, cherry pit the furthest. Uh -huh. And also with the most accuracy by hitting a stop sign from uh -huh. sitting down. So yep. two categories. Yes, there's um, yeah distance and accuracy. And so, I swept each category. So it's your overall winner as I was well. the overall champ. Very well. Yes. If you want to get breakfast here, I'd stop and get a drink. We are now in our Zua after just nine miles and the students are very disappointed that it wasn't as long as they thought. So sometimes they're mad because it's too long and sometimes because it's too short. It's all good. Oh well, yeah, because I feel like I could keep going now. Right. And so like you I feel finally strong. have the energy right. and we're stopping. Yeah. The good news is there's going to be cheese. Hello, what is up, YouTube? Kaylee and I here on a date. Um, we are just chilling. Today was a nine mile hike, if that, and it was very nice. Except there are two uphills that really sucked. And we have two more 11 mile days, and then a one mile day, and then we're in Santiago. And Kaylee and I here, we were talking about what we would like to do in Santiago. And I think we both have agreed that we want to do the rooftop tour. And go gift shopping. And go gift shopping. How exciting. We both like to see every little knickknack, even if it's the same at every store. <laughs> okay, I'm done vlogging now. Do you want to vlog, Kaylee? <coughs> no. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> no. Getting up at 3:30 a.m. to walk the night walk so we can look at the stars and whatnot. Yep. Tonight's our night, our night hike. Yes. Um, so then tomorrow, yes. gotcha. Um, tomorrow we'll only have one more 11 mile hike, and then uh, another mile the day after, and then we're at in Santiago, which is so exciting. And then we're done, and then we tour, or we're, we're so, tours. We're so excited to be done. We are. We both have a lot of blisters and we hurt really bad, but we're almost there. Um, yeah, so now we're gonna go to the back patio with Jeremiah and hang out and journal. So, bye vlog. Well, they wanted to get up early in the morning. So, now we're leaving. <laughs> it's four o'clock in the morning, which is all we needed to call it a night hike, apparently. Um, which is kind of, <laughs> it is still dark out. Um, yeah, so Buen Camino Pilgrims, here we go. Um, we are leaving our Zua on our way to Pedruzo. And um, there's a group of us that are starting at 4 a.m. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But we're going to stick together. Most of us have breakfast. 
and uh, yeah, I'm not going to show you very much because you're not going to see very much. It'll be a lot of dark images. Lit up by flashlights. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, yo. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, yo. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I like always gotta fight and hide from the demons, yo. Negative thoughts are poison, they ride. Uh. Head full of flaws, so here come the clouds. Uh. They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaking, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence So flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from my it because it's temptation I know that I like to do it cause it's sensation I live my life in my head like a narration Don't expect greatness, do my best, man, I'll take it Wake up, today's gonna be a good day 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 I don't think she turned. I bet she walked around. Hi. Hi. Really Tell me how was your how was your um night hike? I started we all started feeling it in that last two miles, but that's uh, that's how it works. Yeah. Um and then we got here and we got a good like six minutes. And now we're ready to go take a nap. Yeah, we definitely need a nap. So Jocelyn, you tell me, how was your night hike? Um I would never do it again. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I would go stargazing for about 25 minutes and then go back to bed. I honestly wish I had done that because I was very cold and did not enjoy myself when I'm cold. Okay. But other than that, it was fabulous. <laughs> yeah, how did, how did your hike go? Oh, it was so fun. I got a little lost. Uh -huh. But that's okay because we got a taxi and made it back. He's like, it says it's like some three more kilometers this way. <laughs> so then I walked a little bit behind him. He was walking really fast. And then he's like, stopped. And I caught up to him. And I was like, are we almost there? And he's like, I think you might have gone past it. So then we asked some more people that were they coming. Were and they were like, no, no, no. Like one or two more kilometers and you'll be there. And I was like, mm, okay. So I kept yeah. walking yeah. until I found one. Well, I'm glad that you found a place. Yeah. I, let's see, I forgot my phone in a hammock because yeah. I took a little snooze. Yeah. And so we walked like a little over a mile and a half and then my dad had to go back and get it. Yeah. So, Jim, tell me, how how did it feel to walk a mile and a half extra for your daughter's phone? It, felt, was, it felt great in the morning. It was three actually. In the afternoon, it started to drag a little bit. Uh huh. You started to lose your motivation. Okay. So that's a father's love. Okay. Yeah, so tell me. Yeah, we walked 17 miles today. <laughs> <laughs> we turn back, and all of a sudden, this tree branch falls directly on my head and like breaks on my head. How did a tree branch happen to time itself to the I end know, of the right? Like, it, like I mean, it was like directly on my head. Like my sunglasses I, were on top, and it had like shards of wood in it. Okay, so I think I'm probably not going to hang out with you today. <laughs> <laughs> and I found four four-leaf clovers yesterday. You found four like all of her all of her good luck yesterday, <laughs> exactly. and now all she has. So tell us about your foot. It hurts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you think it's an injury or you think you're just sore from the walking? I don't know. I will say that of all of the people on the trip, I'm most concerned that you have an actual injury. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah.
tell me about tell me about what's going on right now that you're making all these sounds. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little bit in pain. A little bit. A little bit. A lot of it. It's usually the step downs. The step downs, yeah. yeah it's a little rough. I'll see you at home. So tell me, Amber, what are you most excited about from your final walking day? Um, I'm excited to feel the the relief when we get there. Yeah. And the um, proudness that I actually finished without taxing or shipping my pack board or yeah. anything. You didn't ship anything, girl. Mm -hmm. Just walked it out every day. I did. Doing the thing. Doing the thing. How about you, Liv? What? What are you most excited about? Um, I am most excited to just be done with walking. Yeah. I am more of like a sightseeing tourist <laughs> girl. Yeah. And I'm really sick of walking, and my, I think my joints need a rest. And okay. so I'm excited for that. Okay. Out, we are walking. It is our last day. <laughs> My sisters are celebrating their last day of school. I'm That's celebrating fun. my last day. What are you most excited about today, Alex? Most excited about, can I say being done? <laughs> yeah, that's already what know. Olivia said. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll be, I don't know. Like, yes. I feel like I'm gonna try to like, savor every last minute, you know, out here on the, <laughs> whatever, out here on the trail. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk about that, Sunny. <laughs> as soon as my blisters go numb, you can't stop me. <laughs> I am very proud that I get to say at the end of this that I walked 165 miles. Yeah. I've How's it going, Larissa? It's going great. Yeah? Are you glad to be on your last walking day? Sadly, ah, uh, no. Like, I wish we had a couple more, but just like short ones. Yeah, like some little 5K days. Some little 5K days, Yeah. Yes. We might be able to do those back at home. I don't know if that I want to do it at home. <laughs> there wouldn't be any tortilla at home, unless we brought it ourselves. No tortilla, no paella. Yeah. No croissant. Yeah. No cafe con leche. Right. 
What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Life back home is going to be a lot more boring. Very true. this over here say? 995! Nice. Woohoo! Nice. I have to cry during my I'm recruiting for 135. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Halfway! That was, that was halfway, halfway there. Maybe. We sang and everything. <laughs> Leah, what? I sense that we have finally reached the limits of your joy. No, I'm so happy with oh, okay. watermelon <laughs> and Taco Bell. Okay. Everything hurts. But oh, we're so close to being done. Okay. We reached the limits like three days ago. I'm sorry. All right. So, so we're we're now past the the limit. Yeah. And recovering, huh? Yeah. Now we're just like I just gotta keep putting one foot in front of the other. So Liv, there there's no smell of vision on my 3D camera now. So can you tell us what the smell of this? Indescribable. Indescribable. All of Spain smells bad. All of Spain smells it bad. It smells like, they don't agree with me, but I think it smells like Twizzlers. It does not I, smell like Twizzlers. I hate Twizzlers. I have a description. Ah, uh, okay, Caitlin, what's your description? Rotten limes that have been sitting in the trash out in the sun for at least four weeks. Ah, four week old rotten limes. Yes. Okay. Hey. You know, there's an interesting dynamic that happens as you make your way into Santiago after you've been on this journey for so many miles and kilometers, um, sort of giving your all to the trail and experiencing the spirituality and the conversation with other pilgrims and all that is entailed with the slow life of Camino de Santiago. Uh, it's a very different kind of experience to be walking those last few kilometers into town to be um, approaching the cathedral and know that this trail is finally uh, coming to an end. For most pilgrims, uh, this is a time sort of, of celebration, but also a bit of um, sadness even as uh, we really don't want the trail to end. This is why so many pilgrims then uh, walk on to Finisterre and Musia uh, because they just don't want the trail to come to an end. And uh, my pilgrims were certainly feeling that this year. Um, you can see now as we're coming up to the Santiago de Compostela uh, sign on the outskirts of town, a very famous place where people will take shots and we do the same, uh, but really uh, a wonderful way to uh, to, to come to it. an end. And now we're just going to walk on o over to our hostel, and that will be the end of our walking day before we go. And uh, there's a mall nearby. We'll go and get something to eat and uh, do some shopping. And, and then tomorrow morning we'll wake up, walk the last couple of kilometers into the cathedral, and celebrate uh, our end of Sa Camino de Santiago. Really gonna ride the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah. 
Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the Well, pilgrims, we have just started off our last mile. Um, we stopped outside of the Old Town area, um, about a mile away from the cathedral, and we have just started with our 31-person mob on our way to the cathedral so we can march triumphantly. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good Head full of flowers, so here come the flowers <laughs> They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken I got visions one day at a time It's how you walk and create a cadence So flow, you grow, you show yourself the foundation Stay away from all the shit It's a good way to I'm gonna interview you uh, sure. Good morning, Dr. J. Willie Gibby. How are you, Dr. Willie? I'm really great. <laughs> I think I think I should be the cameraman for this interview. <laughs> I've had a great walk, in part because I had great people to walk with. Specifically, well? the my, day that I walked with passport? you all was one of my very favorite days. Aww. Is it because I kept asking you theology questions and Well, I that's cried. one of my reasons, because <laughs> I do oh, love... Oh, well, not because you're crying. <laughs> This just in, Dr. J. Willie Gibby loves to see people suffer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that might be true. Edit that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. Well, why else would I bring you here? Oh. Uh, I mean, he is a a we could have gone anywhere yeah. in the world. <laughs> this is true. And we went to just say we have El Camino de Santiago. Oh, we're so glad we did. Yeah. Tengo pregunta. That means I have a question. Okay. You want to see my passport? Sure. Look how empty. <laughs> <laughs> it's not empty. You have like almost all the whole thing covered. I know, but, but I, you did oh. forget a few stamps. I did, oh. but just because I was like, oh, I'll get more later. It's fine. Yeah. So life hack, don't do that. You can make a song. Hashtag Camino guys. Oh, into the chapel and we're gonna get compass Tell us go into the chapel and we're gonna see a dead body. What? That was a good one. <laughs> Wait, back okay. it up, back it up. Okay. Huh? In the sanctuary. Really? Oh, yeah. We lift our hands to give you the glory. We lift our hands to give you the praise. And we will praise you for the rest of our days. Yes, yes. We will praise you for the rest of so our days. So long. Come in. Come and walk and carry you home. I did tell you to somebody last night that it feels different this time. I think because um, it's become more routine for me. Like, this is just something I do. Where before, I think I've always kind of thought of it as uh, more contingent. Right? Like, maybe I would stop doing it. Where now it's kind of like, oh. It's I'm walking. Thing. This is what I do now. Yeah. There it is, y'all. Wow. Yeah. Here you go, Mark. Oh, 
There is a group process at the Pilgrim office, so not everyone has to wait through the line. So I went down and got us all checked into the Pilgrim office and made sure that we would get our Compostelas as a group. Uh, that does mean that the students don't get to walk through the line, which is a bit of a bummer, uh, but it saves an awful lot of time. Our group was a pretty religiously Christian group, but not all of us Catholics, in fact, not even a majority Catholic. So uh, going to the cathedral was certainly a highlight for everyone, although uh, the Spanish mass was a bit of a challenge for those of us that didn't speak Spanish or were not Catholic, um, but it's still a powerful experience. And then of course, at the end of the mass, uh, we get to see the uh, Montefamario swing, which is of course a highlight for many pilgrims uh, as they arrive in Santiago. Many of us did go on the rooftop tour. It was my first time on the rooftop tour. Um, if you are a veteran pilgrim that has not been on it, or if it's your first time there, it's definitely worth it. It's a few extra uh, euros to get a ticket to go on the tour. Um, but it's really neat to be able to see the whole city, to be able to see the, the cathedral kind of from a new perspective, uh, and uh, just a, a kind of a neat experience, uh, and definitely worth your time.
my gosh. That, that was, wow. <laughs> Yay, but well you made it. It's become something of a tradition to take students to get tattoos uh, at the end of the pilgrimage. This year we had 11 out of the 31 of us that got tattoos, which is a bit unusual to have that many. Um, but it was really a fun day to go and to do that. I got my second Camino tattoo here at Dr. Mortis in Santiago. Um, this one, You've seen one on my leg. This one was actually designed uh, by Kaylee, one of the students on our trip, uh, for the back of the t-shirt. First time for me getting a tattoo by somebody I knew uh, as the designer, so that was really neat. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nine Let's see what you got. Here. This is drawn by none other than Joseph Donlin. That's how you say it. And uh, this is my ninth tattoo. Easy peasy, I'm starving. Let's see it, Mark. Mm. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love Another cool Camino first for me is uh, I went on Sunday morning to worship at uh, a church where uh, Johnny Walker Santiago, you all know him uh, by that name on the forums and uh, from the book that he's written, uh, he's an organist at a church there in Santiago. Uh, so I went and met him and worshiped with his congregation and that was a really neat uh, experience to finally get to meet somebody I've known only online for a long time. Well, that's the end of the way for these 31 pilgrims from the University of Indianapolis. Well, not really the end of the way. As many of you that have walked the Camino before know, uh, when the walking is over, the pilgrimage has really only just begun. And uh, I'm so thankful that now, uh, about six months after this pilgrimage, I can say that these pilgrims continue to walk in faith together, continue uh, to walk in relationship uh, as they've gotten back home to Indianapolis and continued the Camino families that they formed on the way. I hope that you can make the way just as we did. Uh, it was an incredible adventure and it will be for you too, Wayne Camino Pilgrims.